All right, we are almost done with the modeling stage. In this video, we're going to create a few meshes to help ground this building. This is going to include two ground pieces in the front, one near the store entrance, and one for the corner angle of the building. And the third is going to be the side and the back lot. Let's go ahead and get started and finish up the modeling phase. We need to duplicate our sidewalks to establish the boundaries where we would need to create the ground planes in. So let's temporarily duplicate the sidewalks for the front, extending beyond the building, and for the side. The first one we're going to create is for this corner piece here. So create a plane and drag it into position. I'm going to increase the scale of this plane to 100 so we can see it and set subdivision width and height to 1. Then switch over to vertex component mode and snap each vertex to the grid fill in the gap. Then we're going to drag this vertex on top of this one and we'll merge them in a second. Check to see that we have no visible gaps between this plane and the bottom edge of the building. And we do not. Now let's select these two vertices and merge them. This ground plane is done. I'm going to modify the pivot point to be in the bottom corner of this vertex. But it doesn't really matter where the pivot point is because we'll be fusing this plane to be part of this building. Let's go to the front of the store and create a new plane. Drag it to front into position. I'm going to increase the scale and set subdivision width and height to 1. Let's modify the pivot point to be in the corner vertex so we can snap to the grid. Then switch over to vertex component mode and snap each vertex to the grid and to the front door so we have a square. And then we're going to grab this edge and extrude it for the side. Drag the edge and close up the gap. Let's move this vertex and we're going to make it overlap with the front vertex. Let's take a look to see if we don't have any gaps. I'm going to disable wireframe unshaded to check. And everything is looking good so far. Let's merge these two vertices. Hold shift, right click hold and choose merge vertices. We now have the two front ground planes done. Delete history and freeze transformations on both. Now let's create the side and the back lot. Create a new plane. Increase the scale to an arbitrary number so the plane is big enough to see. Set subdivision width and height to 1. Switch over to vertex component mode and begin to snap the vertices to the grid, aligning them to the building sidewall and the edge of the sidewalk. So we're using the sidewalk to know how far we need to extend and align the edge of this ground plane. Now let's grab the top vertices, move them up, snapping them to the grid, and aligning to the back of the building's balcony wall. Next we're going to select this edge and extrude it. Align this edge to the far end of the last sidewalk piece. And then we're going to grab this edge and extrude it down, aligning with the top of the sidewalk. And this creates our side and back ground lot. This is looking good. Everything is aligned. And now let's modify the pivot point to be at any of the corner vertices. I'm going to move mine down to the bottom left. And let's also delete history and freeze transformations. Delete all the extra sidewalks. We don't need them since we were using them as a guide. And let's export and test. I'm going to select the building and add the two front ground planes. Make sure to deselect the sidewalks, the interior window cards, and the side back ground plane. Export, overwrite over the existing mesh. And now let's export the side back ground plane. For this mesh, I'm not going to worry about positioning the pivot point at the world origin. On export, the pivot point will be automatically positioned at the 000 world space. 
So I'm going to leave this mesh at its current location and export. I'm going to name this mesh backside lot and export. In Unreal Engine 4, let's re-import the building first and take a look. Check in to see if the ground planes have any visible gaps and they do not. Everything looks good and sealed. Let's import the back side ground plane. Make sure you have the static meshes folder selected. Click import. Select back side lot FBX. And we're going to keep the same import settings as before. Click import. And drag this mesh into the level. Let's position it into place. Let's take a look all around, make sure everything is aligned. I'm going to delete this sidewalk and then we need to reposition this static mesh better. It was overlapping with that sidewalk. And then duplicate the sidewalk to align it with this edge, with the side. Let's check again. And everything looks to be in the right position and aligned correctly. Well, this is it. We are done with our modeling stage. We now need to begin UVing this. Last step, let's go ahead and save all. And also save in Maya LT. Okay, 